very special and there's very few places in Africa or leopards in Africa you can actually stand next to a leopard and and enjoy his company normally they will run away or sneak off now this little leopard I've known since he was about six inches long so I've known him since the day he was born and uh, I was uh, the first person to ever see see them after they were born him and his sister and and we've spent a lot of time habituating them on foot and on vehicles. Now the interesting thing about leopards on foot like this is that it only really works at this age. And once they get a bit older they have that sort of natural fear of man and of all sorts of stuff that's, that's hundreds of thousands of years of evolution have bred into them. So they will they will become more f scared once they become independent from their mother. Now, so their mother is actually also a fantastic female to, to track on foot and we spend a lot of time with her. Alyssa is wondering how big do leopards get? Well Alyssa he probably weighs about 130 pounds, 140, no maybe not as much, maybe 120 pounds at the moment and a big adult male leopard will weigh as much as 200 pounds so about the same weight as me. Now of course they are incredibly strong now they're capable of carrying more than their body weight up a tree, 20, 30 feet up a tree. Marianne is wondering how do I know if this is a male or a female uh, by his size. So as a male who's just over a year old, he's a year and two months old now, uh, he's already bigger than his mom. I'm pretty sure his little sister's around here somewhere. It's just so what I've done is I've, I've he knows we're here so I haven't gone any closer I've sat and I've talked and I've got him used to the sound now we're going to take a few steps closer Oop, watch out for the branch Craig and we should be able to see his face quite clearly okay just watch your footing here Craig there's some broken branches Just keep coming towards me. There we go. Massimo is wondering what do leopards eat? They eat meat, Massimo. They're a carnivore. They eat antelope, impala, diker, stanbok. So small to medium sized antelope. A big adult male can even take big animals like a kudu. So they can eat up to, or something that weighs much more than them, up to 300 pounds. They can catch something that big. Hello, little man. Where's your sister hiding? I'm sure she's very close by. She's probably watching us at this very moment. Alyssa is wondering how many leopard cubs does a mom usually have? The normal amount is two, Alyssa, sometimes one, very seldom more than two. And it is already a really big job uh, feeding two cubs because now she's got to catch enough food to feed herself plus both her cubs. So it's, it is two is the normal number. Hey little man. Hello Hosanna. He is so beautiful. Yes you are. I wonder if he knows how good looking he is. Kareem is wondering how long do leopards sleep every day? Now they're very good at sleeping, they probably sleep between 16 and 18 hours a day. At this age they sleep a little bit less, but they'll rest like he's doing now. You can see his eyes seem to be getting a little bit heavy and he's, he's getting a little bit tired. He might have a snooze shortly. Hey little man. Suleiman would like to know, do leopards only use their camouflage to hide? Well, Suleiman, they also use it when they're hunting. So they can, well, I suppose it is a form of hunting, so they can sneak up really, really close to, to an impala or, or another type of antelope, and they can jump on them. So that, that it is a form of hiding, and also as a form of protection against other predators, uh, they can hide and disappear and merge with the bush.
Hey, little boy. Well, we're going to sit here. We might go look for his sister for a little bit. Uh, see if she's around. She might be sleeping in a tree close by or on the ground like he is. While we do that, let's go see how Taylor's doing.